are just literally surrounded by cascading falls. And the, the trail's just become one. Look at this. Welcome to this episode everyone. On this adventure we're finishing up our trip down to Virginia. The last two videos were about bike rides that we did in George Washington National Forest. For this one switched it up and we're gonna do a little hike. We went over, traveled through Harrisonburg and we are in Shenandoah National Park. On this hike we started at the Dark Hollow Falls Trailhead and we did about a six and a half mile loop encompassing two waterfalls in the park itself. We went to the Rose River Valley Falls and then Dark Hollow Falls itself. Let's jump into this one. So we started this hike from the Dark Hollow Falls Trailhead where we crossed over Skyline Drive and hiked on Skyland Big Meadows Trail. This trail took us along the ridge line, giving us views down into Rose Valley, which we will hike into shortly. And down to the Rose River Valley. The hike down was very smooth at first, but then started getting a little rockier and technical as we got closer to Rose River. Coming into the Rose River. Look at it. Rose River Valley. Some of the views and stones here that Rose River had carved out into its gorge was just amazing. Something's definitely happening there. So as the trail rounded the next bend, you can see a drop off approaching. Stay tuned. Would it be Rose River Falls? What we got going on here? Watch your footing. Phew. Rose River Falls was a unique beauty with two separate chutes of water coming down the rock face. We're switching over now. We just hiked down Rose, Rose Run Valley. That was a nice, nice waterfall on that. A bunch of cascades, some nice cliffs. And now we're heading up to Dark Hollow. There's already some nice cascades at the bottom of this guy. Further down the valley floor now, and everything is green, getting green compared to the still dead stuff up top. We got wildflowers, we got fiddleheads, we got streams, we got birds. So, from the parking lot to where we are right now, we did descend just over a thousand feet. So being early spring, it was neat to see the difference in vegetation and how much more was down at this level. After a quick snack, we continued up to Dark Hollow Falls. Jump in there. Cascades for days. And this next mile or so along the Hog Camp Branch definitely my favorite part of the hike. It was just beautiful. Going up. Going up. Going up. Going up. 
we've got to start moving again or <laughs> stopping every 10 feet to take a picture so much going on here just an endless amount of cascades and tranquil pools along this stretch. We're just literally surrounded by cascading falls. And the, the trails just become one. Look at this. Probably still a hefty sized waterfall yet on this one. Look at the greenery in this section. And that a thousand feet of elevation that we descended seemed to all be made back up in the next little section of this trail. <sighs> gaining some L now. We're gaining some L now. I can I don't know how there's supposed to be another waterfall that yeah, we're running out of room here. But there was actually two waterfalls left here in the dark hollow. last falls, we finished off the last chunk of climbing back to the car. So hope you enjoyed. We had such a good time on this trip and jam-packed as much as we could into the few days we were in this area. So much more out there to be explored on the gravel bikes, the mountain bikes, hiking wise, it just seemed endless. There was a George Washington National Forest where we showed the two previous rides the Shenandoah National Park, which we were just hiking in. There was a Massanutten Trails right by the resort we stayed at the last night, and I'm sure a few other systems that we didn't even get to see. So definitely want to get back to this area whenever we can. As far as plan your trips and routes in this area, Trail Forks, as well as the internet and a few of the local bike shops websites were definitely our friends. Paper copy wise, National Geographic has a couple maps out for the areas. So this one is Shenandoah National Park Day Hikes. So this is where we got the guide for our loop that we did. There's a bunch of other hikes in this one. And there is also a National Geographic map of the whole George Washington National Forest area as well. That was very useful. So that's gonna be it for this one. If you didn't get a chance yet, check out the two previous videos on mountain biking in this area as well. But till next time, coffee, cycling, take both. We'll see you out there.